Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new version of the Mars Hydro TS-1000. Um, so this is a second version of the TS-1000 that Mars Hydro has. Both, uh, I don't know, I don't have the specs in front of me of the original. Uh, there's some things I do know about it. I'll try to do the best comparison I can. But they're both 150 watt. The original version is dimmable, but it's in a weird place. And I'm not sure if it's going to be daisy chained. This one, they've got a, a module. They can easily dim like a dimmer control knob. Uh, it can be daisy chained. It's got uh, 342 LEDs, a uh, mixture of 3000K, 5000K diodes, and a mixture of red and IR. So SMD diodes, recommended veg footprint is three by three and recommended bloom footprint is 2.5 by 2.5. So Mars Hydro sent this to me to do the review. So thank you Mars Hydro for sharing this. I can try it out. So what I'm gonna do is just show what's in the box. I already got it cut up and I haven't taken it out yet, but I wanna show that what's in the box, how it comes out. I'll do a power test, show you how it looks. I got a PAR meter, but it's not fair to use it against this so uh, it's not the best one so what i'm gonna do is put on the screen the ppfd map that mars hydro has on their product page and website you can always just look it up yourself too but that they give you that for reference and they also have some suggested um powers for different stages of growth for for clones and seedlings germinating uh, vegetative growth and fruiting but you can look at that on their website so yeah so let's go ahead and um get this open up okay so it's got a user manual. It's got the yeah, it shows you the dimming operation, grow tips. It's got the recommended distances here in the owner's manual. That's a good reference, especially if you don't have a good par meter. Hanging fixtures. This attached to the light. This is a I believe this is used for the for daisy chaining for connecting multiple lights together. And it's got a couple of these little pulley hangers. They're really nice. They give you stickers. I know, like, um, it came with the last last one I got too. But uh, yeah, they give you stickers. It's pretty cool. Power cord. So here's the uh, board here. Let me take this off. Okay, so we got the driver here. This power button, the daisy chain ports, and the dimming knob. And this this plugs into from the goes from the driver to the board. This connects to the power cable, of course. Close up of the board there, it looks good. Yeah, I saw Matt Garver uh, had the has the original version of, of this, and he grew a really massive zucchini plant in his office with it. So that's my plan with this. I'm gonna I need to start the seeds, but I'm gonna grow a zucchini plant in uh, one of my Mars Hydro tents. I was really good about having a dimming feature, is like in a small tent like that, you, you may not have a, the vertical room to to move it up if it's full power. So it'll be too bright for the plant, so you can adjust it down as needed. But yeah, let me plug this up and we'll do a power test. Okay, so this is all the way down um, to the minimum and it's 6.1 watts. And I crank it up to 25% and I'm getting 34 watts. 50%, 58.3 watts, 75%, I've got 110 watts, and all the way up, uh, 147 is what I'm getting. So that's with, within um, acceptable range, you know, they advertise as 150, that's close enough, because they usually plus or minus, you know, a percentage or so. But that's, um, that's, that's, that's actually fluctuating, 147, 146. Right now it's 147. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty bright light. This kind of gets washed out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is get the hanger set up, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the grow tent, and I'll show you how it looks in there. Okay, I've got it set up. So I've got it in this Mars Hydro. It's, uh, it's a little bigger than a 2x2. Two two. It's like 2.3x2.3. 
Uh, it's a little over five feet tall. So I've got it set up in here. I've got the uh, power running out through the, these, this one here. And I got an exhaust fan here. I've got it to an AC, another AC Infinity uh, four inch fan. And since that takes up a lot of space, and this is a relatively small tent. I've got it, you can see the kind of goes out top down here. I've just got it sitting out. So it, you can mount them this way if you don't have room. Actually, it is on. It's so quiet you can't even hear it. So it's it's running. So that's a little trick you can do if you've got a smaller tent and uh, you need to free up some space up top. One thing I noticed when I was putting this together, I thought these mounted on the corners because that's what the product pages look like. The instruction I didn't see any holes down here. The actual instruction manual says mounted. There's there's four holes on this little uh, plate here. And one thing I noticed, I was zoom in a little bit, the dimmer of the um, assembly and the Driver can both be easily removed, and it's just little thumb screws. It's very easy to take these off. If you wanted to totally remove this from the tent, you could. It's got a pretty long, I haven't measured it, but a pretty long cable, it looks like. I've got to kind of fish through here to keep it off of the light. I don't know how hot this is going to get, so I try to keep stuff from resting on it. I did notice, too, there is a like a blue film on here. It's got a thermal insulator underneath the reflector should absorb some of the heat. I sent a message to Morris Hydro and asked if it needs to be removed. It doesn't say anything in the instructions and the other product pages don't show up, but, but it's easy enough to remove these and peel that off. So for now, I'm just going to leave it on until I hear from them. If it doesn't hurt anything, I'll just leave it. Yeah, that's a nice looking light. Looks like it's got good build quality. Um, and that's, yeah, that's why. Let's see how it looks there. I really love the dimming feature, like I say, with these smaller tents. This is actually a decent size for a 2x2. Two two. Most of them are like 4 feet tall, like, you know, about only about this this tall. So they And they're like 2x2. Two two. This is a little bigger, a little wider, and it give you about over a foot more uh, vertical height. So that really is a good fit. You probably wouldn't get any smaller than this for this light, but the good thing is you could dim it down if you were in a, like a, a shorter tent. So you, if you could raise it up high. At full power, it might be too intense. You can adjust it down as needed. Say so I'm going to start some zucchini. I'm going to probably use a uh, self-warding container. So I have it down there. I need to do a video on that. And I'm going to go ahead and start the seeds today or tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get that going and I'll show you some progress updates. So that's uh, the Mars Hydro TS-1000. Thank you, Mars Hydro, for letting me try this out. I will uh, post updates on the grow as I go along. We'll go from there. So um, thank you all for watching. I hope you like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.